wanna see the flame, so don't spark the match. We like rookie Kurt Angle, make your ankle snap. Three amigos like Eddie, but don't lie, you steal. Only cheat when we gotta, but to win, we will. Mike skills like Dusty, but go hard like Brock. I'm a stunner like Austin, dropping elbows like Mach. Y'all don't wanna see the finish, cause it's us on top. One, two, three, get the V and get a warrior pop. Yo! What's up, guys? Joe from the Bump Boys here. And today, as you can tell, Will did some shadow clone jujitsu stuff, made himself a little darker. And I'm just kidding. We got Jamie and Dan here. Jamie is a uh, good friend of ours, good brother of ours. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Triple H um, news about, unfortunately, he had to retire. Um, you know, we'll talk, get into the details about it. But, uh, Jamie, how are you doing today? Grand, grand yourself. Um, lucky to be on the show. Thank you for inviting me on the show, guys. Uh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, great to have you. Good having you, man. So let's just jump right on into it. Uh, Stephen A. had his uh, interview with Triple H. And um, in that interview, you know, the question got brought up, you know, what's next for Triple H in ring? And Triple H flat out said, you know, he's done. He's not doing it no more. No one wants to see him get shocked on live television from uh, uh, his, defib his pacemaker defibrillator in his chest. So, um, yeah, so Triple H's in ring career is officially over. Um, what was your what was your reaction to that, guys? Well, I was at work when he announced the the thing. I was like, God damn, um, sad. Like he was a legend, man, childhood hero, man. We watched that kid, watched that man for years. Watched him beat people up with a sledgehammer. He was a legend, man. Like it's crazy. Like you see someone like you grew up, you know, see him at that old vulnerable stage, and like now he's saying he's calling it quits. Well, eventually he was going to call, going to retire, but like it's just from you know from the heart failure and everything, I, I, it was just pretty much the writing was on the wall. Like this, this is it for him. I was same thing. I was at work when I got the announcement on my phone, so like definitely, like it was. I was getting choked up like going on Twitter, seeing everyone's post about him. Like literally every wrestler throughout. On whatever whatever program you are, whatever basically if you were if you were touched by him, if you were on NXT, basically everyone's just like, Thank you. I love you. Just like it's crazy how many people he touched. Like he's basically built AEW and he didn't even realize it. It's crazy it's how like many people the, Yeah, like all those people that were over there. So many people he's touched, you know. Buried, you know. Well, but he overall, buried a lot of people. He buried a lot of dudes. I think like the worst, but, uh, person, worst person that replied. Even he gave right him back. a yep yeah, right back. And he went see his his. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, he was kind of out of pocket yeah. with that. Nah, we already know what he said. I, I don't, don't, don't advertise assholes, bro. Yeah, fuck him. Right <laughs> like right back was yeah, fuck him. But you know he was he was, he was the block us, he said, block you know. us. <laughs> so um yeah, but with Triple H, you know. It's like, oh, this man had a crazy career, you know. Once He's Stone Cold left in the, in, the, in the business, yeah. Once Stone Cold left, you know, he took over and he became that top heel. And you know, then he came back in 2002, and you know, we had the Cerebro Assassin, and oh, uh, he had he had a great career. You know, 15 time world champion. It would have been nice to get one more match out of him. I think he was um, supposed to. I forgot who he was supposed to face this year, but I know Vince was trying to, but he told him no. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have another. Or if he has one, it's going to be very rare, regulated and stuff like that, you know. And it's going to be one of, it's going to be like a promo that. match. Like he's going to someone's going to cut a promo, he comes in, hits a slut, hits a pedigree, do the little yeah thing and call it a, call it a day. Yeah. I want to see him actually see like bury someone like, you know, like just Put some dirt on them, like, ah, ah, ah. yeah. Like I was, I was happy that his last two matches were Randy Orton and Batista. Damn, I forgot he. That was his like, second to last match was against Dave. And that was like fucking ten years, almost ten years ago. Shit. No, wasn't against. Uh, wasn't it? A, was it the last one a Saudi one? Oh yeah, Saudi. Saudi his Saudi match. His Saudi match with uh, Shawn Michaels against Randy. Brothers Destruction. No, uh, yeah. I can tell you. Give me a second. I swear what it was, was Saudi show, match? bro. The Saudi blood money match. That match that fucking pissed everybody yeah. off. Yeah. 
pretty sure it was Saudi, and if not, it was him versus um like Roman or something for the title. Oh, it was him versus no, this I think it was him versus Seth was like his like other last. Oh, uh, Randy Orton, Saudi Arabia, one on one. Holy shit! When was this? When did this happen? Which Saudi show was this? June. Damn, Saudi Blood Money 2019. Mm. Jeez, who won that last one? Rest, I think Randy. Oh, it was the No Holds Barred match, right? Yep. And Randy won that one, right? Mm-hmm. I think that's a good way to go out then. Yeah. At least it's someone Imagine like Randy. Saudi Arabia, well, it's but... not a, like a, a Baron Corbin type going out, a.k.a. Kurt Angle. Yeah. But um, I think overall, you know, Triple H has had one hell of a career. So, you know, it's hard to even, you know, put him in the realm of like, he's still around, but he can't wrestle. So it's kind of one of those things. But I, ho- I hope he finds what he's looking for outside. Like he said, his hunger, his determination, his, uh, his grit is still there. You know, he still has big goals, big expectations. And just because he can't get in a ring doesn't mean he can't produce really great content for the people. So, okay, I think I overall, you, I can tell you with who was on that card for that Saudi. It was Undertaker defeated Goldberg. <laughs> I don't want to know, bro. I, I, don't, I, don't I hate the Saudi, Saudi shows. Yeah, we, yeah, fuck the Saudi yeah, shows. Fuck the Saudi shows, bro. Fuck Saudi blood money. <laughs> <laughs> and then his last match before that was Batista. Mm. What, the fucking be? What, what year was that? Yo, that was uh, the, Batista give me what WrestleMania. I want. That was Batista's last match. Damn. That was well, the, um, hey. <laughs> it was like, it's like, damn, like, those are his last two men. Well, at least it's the evolution. At least it gets people that, like, you know, we care about. Yeah. Yeah. He, he like, he, he definitely, influ- he definitely changed the game, how wrestling works now. Like, he, he definitely has an influence on in how the business operates. Like, you see a lot of, like, former wrestlers turning, you know, promoters and, Booking, booking events, how like wrestling should be like this now, new modern experience. How wrestling is, I think he like he really put a real big influence in that on that aspect. I agree, man. But those were our takes on, uh, you know, why we think you know Triple H. Um, or those are our, our ideas of what Triple H you know has done for the company, done for the business. Um, any closing statements you guys want to make? Mm, nothing. Uh, forget. Um, yeah, he's, uh, does, does he's Will going down top, definitely top, top, top. Uh, outside the top five all time. He, he's does Will want to say that. anything about Triple H? Will. Does Will want to say anything about Triple H? Any, any thoughts, Will, on Paul Levesque? I'll have my own video up eventually. He'll have his own video up. All right, okay. well, we'll have a solo dolo. All right, guys, it's been the Bump Boys. Peace. Must be Juju. Goodbye. Mwah. And good night. Oh my god, it's so great. Bang!